Hi guys! Welcome to my class. Please subscribe so that you will be notified on our next lesson. Then, like and share so that you can also help other students. Our topic for today is about volume of composite figures. But before we proceed to our main lesson, I would like to share with you something about Sheikh Muhammad bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of the Emirates of Abu Dhabi. He is also the Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. Like his father, he is an exceptional leader who is admired and respected by the people, not just here in the UAE but across the globe. He is the driving force behind the UAE's activist foreign policy and is a leader of the campaign against Islamist movement in Arabia. Because his brother Sheikh Khalifa was Sikh, he was entrusted with most day-to-day decision-making in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi as the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. Do you know that the New York Times named him as the most powerful Arab ruler? In 2020, the New York Times called him as one of the most powerful men on earth. And by Time Magazine, he was named as one of the 100 most influential people of 2019. Like his father Sheikh Zayed, he is also known for his exceptional humanitarian and philanthropic effort to support charitable and community activities. Do you know that he has contributed billions of dollars to many humanitarian causes? The Crown Prince has donated 55 million dirhams to the United Nations Global Initiative in order to combat human trafficking. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed has also provided funding to buy the vaccines for children in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Bill Gates even tweeted an incredible news. He said that the UAE has made a $30 million commitment to end polio for good. To be exact, that was last June 12, 2017. The humanitarian action of Sheikh Zayed was still alive because of Sheikh Muhammad. It will never be stuck here in UAE. If you are selfish and your heart is full of hatred, you cannot give. But Sheikh Muhammad's heart is pure and clean. Sheikh Muhammad saved and until now, he is trying to save a lot of people from dreadful diseases. The UAE sent humanitarian aid and support to many countries, especially these difficult times of pandemic. I am telling you the qualities of our UAE leaders so that we can follow their footsteps. We want our world to be a better place to live in, right? So, let us follow them. Let us move to our main topic now. We're going to find the volume of composite figures by relating volume to the operations of multiplication and addition. But what strategy are we going to use to find the volume of the composite figures? A composite figure is made up of two or more three-dimensional figures attached to each other. To find the volume of the composite figure, you need to know the volume formula. V is equal to length times width times height. To find the volume of the composite figure, you need to separate all the images one by one. For example, the first figure, you're going to get the volume since all the dimensions are given. And the second image, you can find also the volume. And then, add these two, and that is the volume of the composite figure. Let me show you an example so that you will be guided. For example, this composite figure have 
the following dimensions. We are going to separate the first figure where all the dimensions are given and then we can get the volume since the formula is length times width times height. So we're just going to substitute all the given values. Therefore, 4 times 4 times 4, it will give us 64 meter cube. That is the volume of the yellow figure. Now let us work on the second figure. You can see that the total height of the composite figure is 12 meters. And the height of the yellow figure is 4 meters. We're going to subtract 4 meters from the 12 meters so that we can get the height of the purple figure. So 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 meters. Therefore, the height of the purple figure is 8 meters. Now we can get the volume of the purple figure, which is the same formula, length times width times height. Substituting the given values in the formula, therefore 15 times 4 times 8. And it will give us 480 meter cube. That is the volume of the purple image. To find the total volume of the composite figure, we're going to add the volume of the yellow image and the volume of the purple image, which will give us 64 plus 480 is equal to 544 meter cube. What about this figure? Let us find out. What is the total volume of this composite figure? You can see that I separated the composite figure into two images. You can see that the total length of the composite figure is 17 cm. The first figure has a length of 14 cm only. Therefore, subtracting 14 from 17, it will give us 3 cm. That is the length of the second figure. Let us work on the volume of the first figure, length times width times height. Substituting the given values in the formula, it will give us 14 times 5 times 6. And the volume of the first figure is 420 cm cube. Now let us work on the second figure. The formula will not change. It will always be length times width times height if it is rectangular prism. So, substituting the values in the given formula, 3 times 3 times 6. And it will give us 54 cm cube. Now, we can solve for the total volume of the composite figure. We're just going to add the V1 and V2. So, 420 plus 54, it will give us 474 cm cube. What if we have three figures attached to each other like this? What are we going to do first? Let us separate the images and then get the volume of each one. Let us work on the first figure which is color yellow. So, the volume is length and is width and is height. Substituting the values in the given formula, 2 times 5 times 3. It will give us 30 meter cube. Now let's move to the second figure, the pink image. The volume is length times width times height. Substituting the given values on the formula, 2 times 5 times 3, it will give us 30 meter cube. It is the same as the first figure. The volume is the same. Now we can move to the third figure. The third figure is the blue color. So, the formula is the same, length times width times height. Substituting the values on the given formula, it is 23 times 5 times 4. And it will give us 460 meter cube. Now, we can add all the volume of the three figures that we calculated. Adding all the volumes of the three figures, it is 460 plus 30 plus 30, 
it will give us 520 meter cube. That is the total volume of the composite figure. What about this example? Find the missing dimension of the composite figure. If it has a total volume of 43,416 cm cube. The dimensions are given, but there is one dimension that we need to find out. What are we going to do? Let us separate the composite figure into two images. The big one as the image 1 and the smaller one as the image 2. So calculating the volume of the first image, length times width times height, it will give us 40 times 24 times 45 which is equal to 43,200 centimeter cube. Since the length of the composite figure is 43 centimeter and the length of the first figure is 40 centimeter only, we can find out the length of the second figure by subtracting 43 minus 40 is equal to 3 centimeter. So the length of the second figure is 3 centimeter. The width is 24 cm and the height is unknown. We know that the total volume of the composite figure is equal to the volume of the first figure plus the volume of the second figure. So by substituting all the values in the given equation, 43,416 is equal to 43,200 plus the volume of the second figure. To eliminate 43,200 on the right side, to find out V2, we need to subtract 43,200 on both sides. Therefore, 43,416 minus 43,200, it will give us 216, which is the volume of the second figure. Now, we can solve for the height of the second figure by... Using the given formula, V is equal to length times width times height. Substituting the volume of the second figure, which is 216, equal to 3 times 24 times height. Simplifying the equation, it will give us 216 is equal to 72H. Now we need to eliminate 72 on the right side. What are we going to do? We are going to divide 72 on both sides. 216 divided by 72, it will give us 3 cm. That is the height of the second figure. Remember, a composite figure is made up of two or more three-dimensional figures attached to each other. To find the volume of the composite figure, the formula is V is equal to length times width times height. We need to separate each images of the composite figure. Since they have different dimension, then we can find out the volume of each images. And later on, we can add so that we can find the total volume of the composite figure. I will never stop reminding you what Sheikh Zayed wrote for us. Education is like a lantern which lights your way in a dark alley. If you have confusion on some part of the lesson, I want you to go back. Light up your way. Watch it again. Slowly, carefully, and I know you will get it. Life is a math equation. You cannot get the most of it if you can convert the negatives into positive. So, don't be negative. Don't give up. I know you can make it. I want you to discover your undefined smartness. You have it, guys. Score high in math. Till next lesson. Good luck. God bless.